What's happening, good people? My name is Doug, and this is Thaber Media. I want to talk today about what happened to Udio. Udio was awesome. I think we can all agree to that. And then something wacky happened. We got some pretty good updates in version 5.1. We finally got our stems, which can't say we've been asking for them a long time, but we've been asking for it. I like the separation there. We got some ability to add some clarity to those stems once they separate out. Also, the ability to pick the key. Of course, AI is going to AI, so it's not super consistent yet. I have faith that it will evolve. But something we seem to have lost was that magic we had with version 1. It's a lot harder to create that magical song right out of the gate anymore. And I'm not sure why. Some things have been tweaked. Some things that I think a lot of folks are running into... I've done some experimenting, some of you all have commented in my videos, given some suggestions, so I'm going to try some of it out today. So what we're going to do is have a look at a prompt I made using Claude, and we're going to use that to create a song. So with that, okay, check it out. Let's do a song about the son of a bootlegger in southern West Virginia during Prohibition. I created this project in Claude. Now this is... A paid version of Claude so I do have access to projects I don't believe the free version has this but I can share the prompt with everybody if you're interested in using this I can show you the prompt and what I also did was create a it's called a comprehensive music term list it is not all-inclusive it is a lot of the tags that I found myself using in Udio I put them into a huge huge list and had Claude organize it let me see if I can show you what that looks like. Here you go. There's a bunch of rock related, a bunch of metal, a bunch of pop related, electronic and dance, hip hop, rap, blues, jazz and related, R&B, soul, country, Americana, folk, other genres. Then it breaks down into instruments and performance techniques such as improv, technical, complex, melodic, rhythmic. Then we even have some time settings, vocal stylings, performance types. And even some geographical influences like Liverpool, the Bay Area, England, East Coast, West Coast. This is what's in that. These are all tags that have come up in stuff that I've used. So I popped that into the knowledge base of this project. Then my project prompt is pretty dense. But I will share this with you guys. I'll put a link to get to it in the description below so you guys can use this stuff yourselves. Having said all that, here we go. Let's check this out. A song about the son of a bootlegger in southern West Virginia during the Prohibition. All right, let's go. Now, Claude's going to think about this, and then good old buddy Claude here is going to spit out a song overview, a look at the musical style, some of the instrumentation that may or may not be used. Looks like we're going to go with some interesting, interesting choices use the minor keys but this explains everything it explains the decision that Claude is making with the song but what you're interested in I'm sure is this right here the actual audio prompt and if you look at this folk rock blues rock Americana melancholic introspective anxious acoustic guitar slide guitar banjo harmonica we're gonna get some Americana straight up so let's copy this and jump over into Udio and let's make some music. Here we go. Let's copy and paste that in there. We're going to use manual mode and just to throw a little bit of wackiness in here, I'm going to upload some riffs I put together. A song called Run Boy Run. I was playing with this earlier. It's a very uh, Van Halen triadish kind of little jam. Got a little bass going, little drums going to drive the song along. But let's do it as well and combine these two things and see what we get out of all this. Because I still do believe that Udio is excellent for creating 
and building on your ideas, not just a quick, hey, let's do a song about somebody's birthday because it's my friend's birthday and this will be funny and it'll be a novel thing. I think Udio is much more powerful than that and can be used like that. So with that said, we have uploaded a song that we're going to use. So let's check that out. It's, this is currently inactive. Let's go over here make this active it runs a little bit short there so we're going to make sure we get the entire length of this loop that i made and check this out here's what it sounds like so there we go there's a loop we're working with so with that, we're going to add a section when we extend. So this will be their intro. That's what I'm thinking here. I do want some custom lyrics. I wonder if I can get my lyrics from over here. Yep, sure can. So here is, yep, here are the lyrics I was playing with earlier for Run Boy Run. I'm going to use those. I'm going to copy and paste them right into here. Custom lyrics are in there. So to recap uploaded pasted in the prompt with a ton of tags manual mode so that it dri it's driven from those tags that I've got there because Udio definitely understands those inputs now here's where we get into some interesting things let's go ahead and do a model 1.5 version of this do I want the lyrics and the prompt strength as is I'm already in manual mode which should really really push the prompts but I'm going to take it up a little bit more let's take that to 50 and if you're new here if you're not familiar with Udio when you're looking at prompt strength it is how much the prompt influences the contents of the clip. Of course, higher values improve the prompt adherence, but may also yield less natural sounding results. So 50 is probably a good place for that. Let's check out lyric strength now because I'm going to tweak it as well. Lyric strength, if you're not familiar, this is how much the lyrics influence the contents of a clip. Lower values can sound more natural, but lyrics may be ignored. So I think 70 is too high for this. So I am going to, I'm going to flip this. Let's take this down to 30. So we've got a 50, 30. These don't have to equal out to hundred or anything like that. These are two separate things that are driving different things. The seed is minus one right now. I'm going to generate a random seed and go ahead and copy it because when we use it for our next song, I want to use this seed so I can get something very similar. Lyric timing and the clip start are very much in automatic mode here. Clarity. Now the clarity goes from zero to a hundred. And I have read several comments that say take the clarity down when you're working V1, stay in manual mode, use those tags, take the clarity down. So we're gonna check all this out and see what we get. So let's take the clarity to 10 the context length we're going to keep the same and I've also read that ultra high fast fastest these will also have influence on the way the song sounds I feel it's a waste not going all the way high or even ultra so I'm gonna let's start with high and see what we get so we've got I'm gonna double check that make sure I've got it and let's go ahead and generate. Are we ready? Let's extend. So while that one's cooking, yep, there it is, it's going now. Let's go ahead and do a few things here. We can keep most of this as is for our next piece here because now we'll go ahead and generate in version one as well. We can keep all this stuff the same until we get down here. We'll change the model from 1.5, change it to 1. Prompt strength, 50, 30, did I leave that on 31? Yes, I did. So let's keep that the same. Got the prompt in, got this, I'm sorry, got the seed. The seed stayed the same, so that should lock in. These are the same. 
this is the same. Really, all we're changing here is the model number. Everything else is exactly the same now. However, the model gives us clarity. We don't have clarity here. But let's see what we get with this one. Remember, this one will be with version one. So we've got four versions cooking. Now let's go ahead and go back to my creations. These two, I'm gonna go ahead, let's have a listen to Casting Shadows. This is version 1.5. We're just going to go ahead and stop that. I gave it a chance. Not really feeling it. Let's check out our second version. I may have went overboard by doing, folk, well, it is folk rock, blues rock, Americana. I think it could work. Let's try this moonshine run. Let's try this second one again. Version 1.5. Shadows of the hollow neath the moon's glow. Sweet Virginia whiskey, it's the life we know. Pop sees a kingpin, but I just want to roam. Running through the mountains, making this bootleg home. Whoa, run, boy, run, from the revenue's done. I'm not feeling that either. I like some parts of it musically, but. Overall, sonically, composition-wise, I'm not feeling it. Again, those were 1.5 with these settings. We'll revisit those settings in just a second. Let's try our version 1 and see what we got there. You guys have heard this a thousand times already, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Here, Here we, we go. go. In the shadows of the hollow neath the moon's glow Sweet Virginia whiskey, it's the life we know Pops, he's a kingpin Okay, that first one, I think it was superior to the first two that we listened to. I'm not going to say it's the best, but it was better than the first two. Let's have a listen to the next one. In the shadows of the holler neath the moon's glow Sweet Virginia whiskey, it's the life we know Bobsy's a kingpin, but I just want to roam Running through the mountains Making this bootleg home Run, boy, run From the revenue is gone Feel the sweet shine burn as the moon takes its turn. The version ones sound better. I'm not saying they're great songs, but they sound better than the one fives. At this point, all I've done is prove a point that the one five is lacking some sort of magic. But how do we get that magic back? <laughs> all right the way i'm seeing this is that v1.5 isn't necessarily taking the magic away it isn't even necessarily making it harder we are used to instant gratification with these devices with these apps it takes work to make a good song, whether it is AI generated or organically generated. It takes work to make the good songs. Copy, paste, go isn't always going to work. You might get some magic, you might get something novel, but you're not going to get something classic. That comes from human interaction. And there's a lot of human interaction that goes into getting one of these songs to sound good. It's not just pasting in 
a prompt and going. It's not letting the AI create a prompt for you. And going and saying, look, I just hit a hit song. That's not how this works. Not how this works at all. Is there a magic bullet? Is there a secret formula? If there is, I don't have it. And I don't think anybody does. And anybody who does or says they does <laughs> or says they do, it's bullshit. This stuff takes time. This stuff takes, it takes talent. It takes a good ear. It takes a good understanding of music to make good music, to know what's good music. So here's my two cents at the end of the day. Udio is still great. It's still got a long way to go, but my goodness, compared to where we were a year ago, to where we are now, to where we're going to be, hell, 10 minutes from now, for all we know, we have some great fun tools out there to help us create. So get out there and create. Thanks, everybody. I've been Doug. You guys have been awesome. Now go make some music, however you want to make music. <laughs>